In today's video, we're delving into a crucial topic that affects men's hormonal health, xenoestrogens. Join me as we uncover what xenoestrogens are, where they are found, and how they impact men's testosterone levels. But before we dive into this essential discussion, make sure to support the channel by hitting that like button and pressing the red subscribe button for more pure, insightful information. So what exactly are xenoestrogens? Xenoestrogens are synthetic compounds found in everyday products that mimic the effects of estrogen in the body. They can sneak into our lives through plastics, pesticides, personal care products, and even certain foods, disrupting hormonal balance and wreaking havoc on men's testosterone levels. It's been shown that on average, we consume a credit card's worth of plastic every week, contributing to the worldwide epidemic of low testosterone, men are facing more now than ever before. I say this not to fear monger, but to spread awareness out of necessary concern so that we as men can start implementing protocols to detox from these xenoestrogens and protect our testosterone levels naturally. Keep watching until the end for my simple detox protocol. Links will be found in the description box below to everything that I mentioned in this video. So where do these stealthy xenoestrogens hide? Well, unfortunately, they're everywhere. Plastic products like water bottles, food containers, and even receipts contain xenoestrogens, like bisphenol A or BPA, and phthalates or microplastics. Not to mention pesticides sprayed on fruits and vegetables, as well as in hormones that are given to livestock. All of these things included have introduced xenoestrogens into our food supply. Plus, most commercial personal care products, like shampoos, conditioners, lotions, deodorants, and cosmetics can contain xenoestrogens. But how do these sneaky xenoestrogens impact men's testosterone levels? Well, by infiltrating the body and binding to estrogen receptors, xenoestrogens disrupt the delicate balance between testosterone and estrogen, leading to an estrogen dominance. In men, this can lead to a slew of health issues, including low libido, infertility, decreased muscle mass, increased body fat, mood disturbances, brain fog, and the dreaded gynecomastia, aka man boobs. So to shield ourselves from these toxic xenoestrogens, we must be vigilant. Opt for glass when possible or BPA-free plastics. Choose organic produce to minimize pesticide exposure and switch to natural chemical-free personal care products. You'll see a link below to the personal soap that I use. Additionally, Consuming foods rich in antioxidants and estrogen detoxifying compounds, such as cruciferous veggies and oranges. On top of that, including some brassinosteroids into your diet, which are plant-like bio-identical forms of testosterone found in plant foods such as broccoli sprouts, pine pollen, and bee pollen. Also, incorporating fulvic acid into your supplement regime, which is a powerful natural detoxifier found in shilajit plus cystanch tubulosa, known for its testosterone-boosting abilities and for its ability to detox BPA from the testes, also taurine for its BPA and overall detoxifying properties. Lastly, when combined with a regular sweating practice, such as exercise or sauna usage, these unique strategies and supplements can counteract the harmful effects of xenoestrogens. Links will be included to all the products I mentioned in the description box below at a discounted rate to all my viewers. In summary, understanding the hormonal threat of xenoestrogens to men's testosterone levels is paramount for safeguarding our health and vitality as men, especially as we age, by arming ourselves with knowledge and taking proactive steps to minimize our exposure, we can reclaim control over our hormonal balance and overall well-being. For further insights into xenoestrogens and their impact on men's health, check out the links in the description below. Have you tried any of these detox methods yourself? Let me know in the comments section below. Let's keep this conversation alive. And until next time, 